Good. Good, Keith. How you doing? I'm good. Sorry. Just finishing up shuffling here and uh, so that we can get started. Uh, we just started a little bit earlier this week instead of eight. I figured we'd do seven. And, uh, you know, just see how that goes. Probably the later time probably suits everybody a little bit better. But anyway, um, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, let me see how many I'm going to burn here. Uh, man, you think I'd clean this off first, huh? <laughs> let me, uh, okay. Uh, says we're going to burn 10. Okie dokie, artichokey. Okie dokie, artichokey. There we go. Okay. Uh, we got the app up. Uh, we got everything going here. We'll get a couple first hands in. And as you know, people will trickle in as we, uh, as we start. Uh, let me just check one more thing here. It's always a dance of trying to get everything correct, you know. <laughs> so forgive me till I make sure everything is good, and we'll get started. Um, all righty, sounds good. Okay. So the first hand, uh, Mookie, you're going to have to help me here with the. Uh, um, Placement, yeah. So to your up closer, or yeah, there, and to your right. There you go, perfect. Right there. I'm like an, uh -huh. I'm like a player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first hand. That's perfect. That? Perfect. Six. Ah, eh, Kevin. That's right. <laughs> Should I zoom in a little bit more, Mookie, or is that okay? Um, that's unless you want to put them closer to each other. I don't mind putting them closer. How's that? That's perfect, I think. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Let me mark my spot here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, player or a banker, Kevin, wins the first hand, eight over six. So we got the first hand in. Uh, a little too early yet, obviously. So here we go. We have a one, seven, banker or a player with zero, banker with zero. I'm going to put the hit cards in front of it here. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. Six That's on, funny. six on player, zero on bank. So player wins the second hand, six over zero. Was the first one natural? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, natural eight over uh, over six. Six. Yeah. Okay. Let me pull the chat up here now. Okay. So you know, I want to tell everybody, like here in the back end chat, there's a chat room where we can chat. So if you want to oh, send, yeah. them, you know, I think a lot of folks miss it, and then you can also send those really nice emojis. <laughs> so. So anyway, okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Third hand, a little too early yet, obviously. Four. <laughs> nice one, Canada. <laughs> what did he do? Seven he, and Stan, one, one. Seven over one on the player. Would he send an emoji? Yeah. Seven over one on the player. Okay. Almost like you guys rehearsed it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get my. All right. So I'll get the chat back up here. Ah, oh, we're waiting for a couple players. I think they probably thought we were at eight. But anyway, here we go. Six. 
four, natural eight on player, one on bank. Player wins the third, fourth hand. I'm sorry, it's eight over one. Eight over one. Okay, here we go. Coming up on what is this? Hand five. Yep. Zero, one. Natural eight again on player. Natural eight over four on the player. And there we have it. Okay. Okay, going opposite now. Hundred thousand dollar bet. Okay, Canada's <laughs> going opposite. Uh because the first natural went opposite with DNA, is that what you're thinking here, Canada? No, I'm. I I, I always talk about this that after two naturals, the probability of hands going opposite is eighty five percent. Eighty five. Okay. Eight. Uh -oh. That's not good. Seven and stand. Natural nine on banker. There you go. There you go. And now natural. we should go opposite again. Natural nine over seven. You almost gave me a heart attack on that one. <laughs> and hundred grand's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's just double it and go opposite now. Okay. <laughs> okay, for the same reason, obviously, Canada, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. One zero. Oh, not this time. Natural nine over seven again, only on the player side. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. Because oh, you got it. Opposite. Went opposite. Yep, went opposite. There you got it. I'm buddy. already up 200 grand. Yeah. You're 100% picking them here. Good call. Thanks for pointing that out to folks. Okay. Set tight. You're going to set tight on this one? Well, yeah, I mean, because people have this wrong and people talk to me about this all the time that okay so you had two naturals on the player side and it went opposite so now that you have a natural why are you not playing repeat well it's, it's that's what it's very tricky because even the last natural went opposite and this one just came doesn't mean it's going to repeat there's a good tendency to go opposite so i usually don't play this hand okay all right here we go Eight, 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 seven. Eight over seven on the player. Is that two naturals in a row, right, uh, Mookie? Yeah, yes. Okay, we should play opposite now. You like the opposite, okay. A lot of players. A lot of players. Yeah, it's, it's working out to be a, a strong player here. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Still early in the shoe. Yeah. Two. Jesus Christ. One. Four. Seven. Dragon seven on the bank. You got the opposite. Canada's a hundred percent here. He's killing it. Killing it early in the shoe. You know. I mean, this. Uh, let me just stop you right there for a second because I do want to just quickly mention that I've been watching these guys uh, play in, in the casinos and the, the whole thing about this Dragon 7 is happening a lot after naturals. So it's something to keep in mind that when you have naturals and you want to really, if you were a kind of player who wants to put pa money on Panda or Dragon, these are, these are opportunities where you want to, you know, kind of take advantage of. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Because it's yeah. 40 to 1. I mean, literally, I mean, you put a quarter and you get $1,000. I mean, where can you go wrong, right? Well, yeah. all right. What do we like here? Anybody else? What are we betting here? Anybody else see anything? Uh, yeah, I'm going to just say the player just because of the uh, fact that it's, you know, the two a little bit. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah, Kevin. Player. You like to Kevin? I think this be your first bet, wouldn't it be, Kevin? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm already, you know, I'm 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 just I'm just following uh, Canada Bach. I'm already up a couple yeah. hundred grand. So yeah, yeah. I know. He's, he's already made his money because he's been betting on top of me. Okay, <laughs> that's right. 
another another <laughs> another person riding on your coattails, Canada. Okay. <laughs> Three. Uh, nine on the banker. You know, I, I think uh, GB isn't here tonight. He would have said something about that. Uh, probably would have said be cautious at that point. Uh, but he's not here tonight, so we'll have to ask him about that bet. Okay, so natural nine over three on the banker. So we get our first two in a row on banker. Uh, players ahead a little bit, but not by much. Not a whole lot of stuff going on. Anybody see anything? I uh, still should go opposite. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of natural so far. Yeah. Of, yeah. Okay. You like the opposite here on on the on the player. That's seven out of ten naturals. That's it. Uh, it is. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't surprise me. I mean, I'm seeing on an average of 25, 30 naturals in a shoe now. Well, wait, that's about what it should be. It should be about 33 to, you know, 35, 6%. Yeah. Okay. So this is, but this is high. Yeah. So it's far. A little, a little high to start. Yeah. Um, so the, the consensus here is uh, we like the opposite on, uh, on player. Um, and uh, so away we go. Let's see if we get it here. Three, four. Natural eight on player. Natural eight over six. So we got the opposite after the natural. So good yeah. call. When it's there, it's there. You know. Yeah, and and I've noticed that the naturals on the player sides are repeating. So the probabilities of second liners are actually forming right now. So okay. there's a good chance this might repeat with a natural. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Zero, 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 five, zero. No, nope, not this time. Okay, so five over zero on the banker. So there's our first first time we were not quite spot on with that one. A little, 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 little unpredictable now. So ones and twos. Okay, so we're in how many hands? We got 12 hands. Does anybody see anything else now for this next hand? Tough one. Uh, I'm just looking, at, uh, you know, just uh, from a pattern standpoint, I like kind of like the uh, player on the um, first of the derived roads. Oh, I, okay. I didn't see the drive road there on, on the first drive road. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, like the second like liner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Kevin. Um, you know, I just, uh, but I, I don't love it. You know what I mean? I mean, we're right. like, how many of this, how many players, but I mean, it's uh, seven to six, seven to five. Okay. Okay. So maybe, a, maybe something developing on the first drive road, Kevin, but certainly repeats on the uh, second drive road and chop on the third drive road. So anyway, let's, let's see which, what happens here. Probably a, a half of that, if anything, seven over six of the player. Good call, Kevin. That was that was a derived roads call. Yeah, that, that was a good, good derived roads in Canada. Okay. You know, again, the phenomenon of uh, you know we have eight players and five bankers, and the average score of banker is higher than player. Uh, you had players winning more hands. That's interesting. Always. Where, where do you see the average score? Uh, on the on the app. Well, no, that's oh. the most common. That's the most common. Up top is the uh, oh, up here, yeah, yeah. Like the average score of the player. Oh, okay, on the app, I get it. Yeah, it's five point five, and the average score of the banker is six point seven. Uh, but players won eight eight hands, and bankers won three. So we're getting to quite a disparity there. The the players hand obviously the players uh, score has been more consistent from the beginning, and and it started off a little low. Uh, on the banker side there, you can see that. So that's that's why that happened. I also like to watch just uh, most common. I think the most common scores are very interesting. Uh, down there at the bottom, most common on player is eight, and most common on banker is seven. Is there anything on the uh, on the seven D Mookie of note, uh, uh, or is it too early here? Uh, one back is hot. Yeah. Okay. Last three, it's one. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll throw it out to the floor. Does anybody have any any picks for this one? What are you guys thinking here? Anybody like anything? Well, I, you know, I, I mean, I, again, I'm, I'm going to say just from a derived growth standpoint, two of the three oh. things to me would suggest the player. Okay. You, you know, the uh, of course. small road and the uh, um, cockroach pig, just the pattern, just the pattern. You know, the pattern, yeah. Would suggest player. Um, okay. I don't know about the beef plate. Maybe if Greg were here, he'd, uh, you know. He, he accepted he accepted the invitation. I don't know if anybody wants to ping him. Uh, he said he was going to be here, but he didn't make it, I guess. So anyway, let's go with it here. Four, four, three, zero, three, five. Five over three on the banker. Five over three on the banker. So getting a little choppy game, a little time before Ellis. I know um, – GBO9 always com comments, look, it's either uh, OTB4L or uh, TBL. In this case, it certainly is a TBL game. There's no doubt about that at this point. We get a little bit yeah, of a It's actually six to six. Yep, six to six. I mean, recent most common. We have four. Yeah. Four. four uh, we're kind of in a zigzag run. Probably would have been a better way to state that, you know. No doubt about that. So, um, okay. Before you go any further, Keith. No, I'm ask. not. I'm going to ask this question ahead, to the, 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 the wizards of uh, BTC here. So I've been experimenting with just plain uh, runs uh -huh. yep. of either four or more of a run. So like I would have lost on that player. I think I would have bet for it to continue. Or now we've got four singles in a row. Uh, to bet that it would go to a single again, even though I know it's in the chances are, you know, that the order five is different, you know. Right. And I've actually had some pretty good luck with it. Okay. Okay. Just just plain repeats and opposites. And it doesn't yeah. have to be four and four. It can be whatever the shoe is delivering. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's and a great. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, me. I did. But the object is just to, to win a few units. You know, the object is not to play the whole shoe. Right. The is that when you get to that point, which almost every shoe is going to have a point where, uh, you know, the, the singles are going to, you know, even if they go, like right now, even if it would go to a, a player, that could then go to, you know, repeat. You know what I mean? After that. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And I'm just curious if anybody's looked at that or if we've ever thought about that or, if there's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, I've played that way, you know, from time to time, Kevin, where I just play straight runs and I just play zigzag runs. and, and, and Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, zigzag or run. Uh, right. And quite honestly, they're, they're you know, the most consistent, I, I find, uh, you know, the, the and of course, by consistent, I mean, you, you could usually get one or two up doing that. Uh, you just, you know, it's the same dilemma you run into that is like, I think you you hit on it there. It's probably best to take just a couple from them, and and then okay, I, I got the three or four from that one, and then get out because you don't know when they're going to end, or they can go on forever, and then you go, well, I should have stayed on it, but that's always a tough call, you know. So um, I, I'm with you on that. So getting a little feedback. Okay, well let, let's see if we get the player here. Um, here we go. Nine. Three, four, zero. Four hits. Stays at four to two. There's the player. So it uh, we got the zigzag to keep going there. We got a four over a two on the player. So the way I play this, okay, is All right. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm recording this. Give me one second. Um, is a good place mm -hmm. is like the Gold Coast. Right. You've got a lot of games going. Okay. Okay. And you're as long as you now they make you sit down. You have to sit down. You're not you're not supposed to. It used to be you could just like bet on the over somebody's shoulder. You know what I mean? Right. 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 But unless they really know you, they want you to sit down now. Okay. <laughs> but it's a great place to play this strategy because you know if you've got 15 games going on. And you can just walk around constantly, walk around, walk around, walk around. You know what I mean? Right, right, and right. You can look at the history of the shoe and make these decisions to get in for one hand 
uh, if you lose, you lose. I mean, that is what it is. What it is. You know what I mean? Right. 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 And you also then, if, if if you were to lose, let's say that, that had gone to a banker, as a for instance. Okay. Let's just say it had. Okay. Uh, you you still have the decision. Well, is this really still a, a, a run mostly of opposites or not? Right. It, it, right. Even though that would have been a repeat. Right. And so right. it, you know maybe I'm like seeing things that don't really exist in real world because I know it's opposites for people be the same over time. But well, no, I, I think you I think you're spot on, Kevin. I, I do. I, I think it's a great way to play. You know. But when you're looking at a lot of hands, I mean, a lot of you know sessions or whatever. Right. It just seems like they're going to spot these things. And again, the idea is, you know, for me, it's flat bet and bet larger units, you know, as opposed to try to, you know, win by, you know, winning more than I lose, so to speak. Right, right, so right. I just was curious if anybody else had thought, done yep. this, thought about it. You know, I've been doing it lately and it's been working pretty well. So, you know, okay. but, but I like to go where there's a lot of shoes being played. I, I yeah. Like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely. I, I'm with you on that. I, I think you need a lot of shoes on it. So, uh, all right. Okay. Well, let's go on to the next one here and see if the run continues. Um, two, eight, one. Paint it. Eight. There it is. Paint it. Eight over <laughs> one. Natural on the banker and the run continues. So, uh, again, you know, I, I could say that um, um, – uh, you know, the biggest wins are on runs all the time. I mean, that's usually what you're waiting for to come, whether it's zigzag or straight runs or a run of twos or, you know, something along those lines. They're usually the easiest, easiest ones to target. So, I, I mean, uh, it, it's not a bad way to play. It's just go around and look for those opportunities. I mean, certainly uh, should have been part of the 10 best bets uh, well, well, so so every will get a kick out of this. I was at the Rampart Casino about four days ago, probably uh -huh. uh, it was probably last Friday. Uh, I don't like to play on the weekend. It's too crowded. Anyways, there was 14, 14, two in a row. No, oh. I mean two, 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 two. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Now, yeah. That happened before I got there. <laughs> I sat down, and the whole thing changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and that the way it goes, huh? <laughs> it was un freaking believable. I don't think I've ever seen that many twos in a row. Right. Just right. two. Just two. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it does happen. All right, let's see how this longest run is going to go. You can really capitalize on this. Um, natural eight on the player. Over one, it continues. Natural eight over one. So we still got a good run going. And of course, uh, when anybody feels the need to bet against it, let me know. <laughs> Zero over two, two, one. So there we get the two in a row on the player. Two over one on player. Two over one on player. Okay. So now it becomes, are you going to play the choppy game or are you going to let one go here? I, it, interested to hear from the peanut gallery here. You know, I, I don't like what the derived roads are showing me, okay? But except for the uh, small roads on the bank but okay. it just seems as if so far we've had mostly a choppy shoe okay player so far you know. so far yeah um but the other derived roads i'm not so sure the patterns are better but i'm just explaining that uh you know okay okay so you know for if you're if you're if you like betting choppy kind of a game style then of course you're going to bet bank here. Let's let's see if that holds up. Uh, you know, usually I like to bet choppy rather than um, any other way. So, so three to three, down to two. Oh, <laughs> down to one. Oh, wow, how about that one? Never seen that happen. One <laughs> to one. How about that? Or is it? One, no, this is, two to one. one. 
Two to one. one. Two to yeah. one. Sorry about that. Two to one. My fault. Two to one. There have been a lot of low cards lately. What's that? It's been a lot of low cards for some reason. Yeah. 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 No, it's one to one, right? It's one to one, guys. It's a tie. It's one to one. You're 21, right. 21 21. That's what I thought. It's a tie. Oh, it's, okay. It's a tie. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sorry about so, that. So, so if you were to scroll through uh, the app right now, uh, Mookie, is there anything that is like stands out as um, I, not not you know just just different you know? Let me get that. Hang on just a second. Oh, you got it right there. Okay. Um, well, the roads. Um, there's the dashboard. V87. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. One's going to one is hot. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, huh? One yeah, staying yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Sometimes the app is just states the obvious. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I'm just curious. One stay one. So in other words, that's what that's telling you is if you're, if you get on the run, you're good and it tends to be a choppy game. So, and, and that's basically what it is. Let, let's see if it stays choppy. Let, let, let me, let me uh, talk about this a little bit. Okay. No, and, please. Yeah, please. In the box, I think you might weigh in on this one. Okay. Because, because the last one was a tie, which we haven't had any of yet. Okay. It seems like, again, it seems like. I don't have empirical evidence that I've kept track of for years or anything like that. But if, if you get a tie in a sequence of events where it's mostly runs, the tie yep. usually will be in the runs, meaning, yep. you know, it's yeah, a I've, relative player. Yeah, I if always said that. mostly yep. shop, okay, um, which is not, you know, huge, but it's been mostly shop so far. That would tell me to go to banker. Now mm -hmm. I'm asking the other play. I'm asking everybody else what they feel about this or whatever. You know. Yeah. Well, I I've always said that with with ties is that uh, more so in straight runs, Kevin. I said it pretty much indicates a strong side. That uh, what validates a strong side is you know you have a four or five in a row and then you get a tie and then it comes back with the same side. It kind of validates the strong side. The other thing I use it for is if I bet enough, if I have a big enough bet on a strong side, um, you know, that's the rare opportunity where I'll cover a larger bet, bet in a dragon seven, because the average score of that strong side is higher, which is why I'll bet, uh, you know, a little bit to get seven uh, if, they, if they offer the dragon bet. Um, I, I haven't noticed the tie in chops, but that's interesting that, that you mentioned it that way too. So, um, that, that's cool. Yeah, it's, just, it's a way to evaluate um, the tie if it has any impact at all. You know. Yeah. And that's why I'm asking the question. Does anybody else, you know? Look yeah, well, that's why I said. Well, you know, a couple times we had we came up with that approach, and it's not a bad actual way to play ties. And Canada can speak to a lot of ties too. He plays tie lines and watches ties and uses DNA to analyze it. But one of the things that I always say is if if they do tend to clump together. Uh, you know, after a tie, you can bet tie eight more times, and if you hit any one of them, uh, except the last one, you made money on it, then stop. So that's kind of a nice approach to, to bet ties, you know, because it pays eight to one. So uh, you can kind of, uh, if you like to play ties, that's not a bad way to play them, I, I always thought, too. So uh, raised hand, Canada. Yeah, Go ahead. a couple of things. I mean, I, I think you're right. I mean, you first of all, for the Dragon 7, I would definitely at this point put money on it because uh, we just had a natural, we just had a tie, and the, the probability of that happening is, is very high. That's one thing. The second thing I've always talked about ties is that when you see a tie, even though this is the first tie, it is always good to uh, repeat a tie bet. I mean, really, it's you have nothing to lose other than the fact that you have always something to gain. I mean, I played two issues a couple of days ago and we had three ties in a row so I mean, uh -huh. it happened it can happen 
I'm right. not saying it's going to happen, but you have two different scenarios here. If you are playing on a high limit table where there's Dragon Seven, for sure. I mean, if you put if it was a two hundred dollar table, you put a quarter on a on a Dragon Seven, you have nothing to lose. You know, that just everything to gain. So people uh -huh. do that all the time. So it's good to take advantage of that. Okay, and and what else were you thinking? What else were you saying? There was some other point I thought you were going to make. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, what what. Uh, uh, Kevin was saying, I mean, I kind of agree with him on, on that part also. So, so. Oh, okay. 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 Sounds good. So, all right. Well, let's see what happens here. Uh, here we go. Five, eight, two, zero, two, six. Okay. So uh, banker wins six over two. So it, uh, chop held. There we go. So for staying on chat, go ahead. I bet, I bet four million Durham on that. So <laughs> okay, nice try. <laughs> Nobody understands what I just said except Canada Bach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess if we're going to stick with a chop, we're going to go back to player. Anybody else have any other opinions? Canada, anybody? Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Let me look at the right here a little bit. Okay. Uh, the, 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 uh, the flashes, the, the cockroach fit hasn't gone past on the player, hasn't gone past two. So that would say player. The, you know, there's certainly a lot of it's all repeats on the small road. Right. That's a bank. And the top road is kind of on that's what. So I would just stay with the chop on this one. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think it's a good chop. But, but, when I, but let me let me say one thing. So yeah. far, so far, except for the next one coming up, we haven't had any on the, on the. If you would like to play the, you know, the um, uh, most plate. common, yeah. And if you like to play the B plate, we haven't had any, you know, chop, 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 chop with a bang. Yeah, and, and and one thing here too, Kevin. Um, you know, if you look at it from a different perspective and you would have other information, uh, this would be kind of an MDB bet. There's been three uh, single uh, banks in a row without a two in a row. And, you know, quite a few. Uh, I mean, if you if you bet MDB isolating banker and player, which is usually a, a better way to do it, uh, you would bet banker uh, go into a two in a row. Uh, you know, if you... Um, Kind of buy into the other philosophy that one in a row bankers are the most common and they're the reason most common. Then you'd bet player. So that's what makes one and one in a row sign up so hard. You kind of just, you know, I, that's why I like to bet uh, the game as well. It's choppy and give it one or two or three shots to to remain choppy, uh, which is kind of, uh, you know, my philosophy yeah, when you're yeah, playing yeah. a choppy game. I think you brought up a couple of weeks ago also, Keith, the fact that. Let's just say that last uh, uh, tie, you know, okay, which is recorded on the player side. Let's say it said it had gone to bank. Uh huh. Let's just say it had, okay. Then we would have two banks in a row right now. Right. If, if it had been a bank instead of a tie. Yeah. And I think you brought that. I forget how you brought it up. Well, I, I I brought that up. I brought that up when um. I, my my philosophy was, and I you know I start looking at stuff, and then I get sidetracked with fifty thousand other <laughs> things to do at beat the casino. But uh, but okay, so when you have a tie, it's like, and, and let's say for instance you're playing MDB. Well, that ruins everything because you don't know it. Not ruins, but you should. My theory was to analyze it like it either won it won both sides. So. Uh, you could say that, to your point, Kevin, that that last tie, that could have been a banker, which would have been an opposite. Now we have a two-in-a-row banker. Or if you consider it a player, we had a three-in-a-row player that just went opposite the banker. So there's two ways to look at it because when you're analyzing statistics with Baccarat and we're talking about only two possible events, it's really not true. There's actually three. I mean, you're flipping a coin. For all purposes, there's only two things that can happen. It can be bank or it can be heads or tails. The tide, there's no tie in coin flip when you're analyzing statistics. 
there is obviously in this and you know you can look at them as as creating kind of uh ambiguity in one in a rows two in a rows and three in a rows and and how what what has really occurred you know is is was my point and they happen pretty often to do it which it's my contention that that ambiguity uh, caused by ties is what at times makes the game hard to predict because you should probably switch your philosophy from just looking, let's say, just at the main road and ignoring ties to considering what each potential event would be if you considered it a banker and you considered it a player. Like in this case, if you consider it a player, it would be a three in a row player and it would be a strong player shoe kind of uh, with a propensity for banker just to have one in a row. So with that said, you know, I, if you consider it a player, you'd probably bet player here. If you considered it a banker, well, then maybe uh, maybe the still bet player or maybe you'd say this is a shoe change and it's going to go to two. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. We need some more information. So if that makes sense. Player. All right, let's see what happens. Enough talk here. Eight, zero, Paint one, one oh, seven. On. <laughs> tie hand, of course. <laughs> <laughs> tie line. No, it wasn't a tie line. It's tie <laughs> hand. Okay, so there, there, it, it like skewed the whole game. Now let's see what happens. We'll go with the tie here and see a six. Player uh, again. It's six and Stan. Natural, natural eight on the bank. Natural eight over six, Mookie. So here, you know, that could be a banker three in a row. It could have been a a player and back to banker, you know, however you analyze it. Or you could just ignore it and say there's two, two in a row. Um, you know, I, 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 I used to ignore them. I'm, I'm starting to think that ignoring them probably isn't a good idea in all situations. So um, anyway, okay, so here – Analyze however you think. Let's see what happens. So we have a seven on player, zero, seven over two on player. Oh, I like the player. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, the repeats, look at the repeats on the derived roads, and uh, that's where it came from, actually. I just okay. Oh, okay. Scam, scam likely on my phone. You think I should answer it? Probably not. <laughs> scam likely. Okay. <laughs> So now it's it's temp, you know if you're betting chop, you know you still got a pretty good game. Um, you know, is is this start of two in a row or is the chop going to continue? What do you guys think, Canada? You got any DNA DNA information for us here? Uh, he's on mute if he's talking. Anyway, I guess he's not. Okay. Well, let's see what happens since this is kind of ones and twos. I, 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 I like the chop. Yeah, I like the shop too. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't know how you cannot like it at this point. Yeah, right. If you're four, gonna bet, you're gonna bet right. Four up to seven. That yeah, player got the player. Probably okay. give it one more on the chop. Seven on on the player there. Okay, so we'll stick with the chop. Give it one more. Of course we would. Seven again. Zero. Seven and stand. Tie hand again. There's the tie. Tie line, Canada. All right, let's stick with the chop. Yeah, now, uh, again, what I mentioned right after the tie was you could bet tie eight times, and if you win, stop. So you, it, this would be a, a situation where you bought into the uh, assumption or theory that ties kind of cluster together, and in this case, that theory worked, and you would have – Waited for the first one, then bet it eight times, and you would have hit it, uh, looks like, in two hands, so you'd have made six chips. Uh, so it's not a bad way to play. Uh, look, okay. look, look, at, look, look at the derived rows, okay? All right. Look at, the, look at what's happening on the just, – I'm just, just talking about the derived rows, and it supports okay. the main road. Look at the, the bank. What it's, you know, look, it's, it's predicting, predicting if you believe that there's going to be a – you know, donut, whatever, on bank, uh, it, it, that makes kind of sense, right? Right. If you believe that there's going to be, I mean, everything's been repeats on the uh, uh, small road. That's a solid circle. And there's a pattern 
of pretty much of the uh, blue slash on the uh, cockroach pig. Yep. yep. And that would certainly support the fact that we've had four twos in a row and one unconfirmed two. Yeah. So yep. if, I was, if I was going to bet, I'd be betting bank right now. Uh, yeah, I'm, me too. I'm using the derived roads. That, do they coincide with the main road or not? Yeah. Gotcha. All right, let's see what happens. I, I, I agree there, Kevin. Well, that's a problem right there. Five. Five over two. Up to seven. Ah, uh, we got the player. That's the first player streak yeah. there. Seven. I knew that was a problem. Yeah, that was a problem, huh? <laughs> seven over three. Okay. So, so again, though, you could still have a choppy shoe if you consider the ties – and and what I would do is like when you don't after a tie you just suspend and then bet the opposite and you're betting opposites uh, because you don't know what happened on the last one and that was the whole point of you know considering the tie as both so you know in this here if you if you would have skipped betting after the tie you'd have, you'd have done pretty good um, and now of course you'd be on banker back into betting chop so. Um, uh, anyway, let, let's let's see what happens here. Nine on player and four on banker. So again, it goes to four on the player. Four in a row on the player if you eliminate the tie. If you don't, it's a two in a row. All right. Okay, so what does everybody think here? Are you going to go on to player or Kevin, or are you still opposite or just waiting? Yeah, this is where I would, you know, um, e e even though a lot of the uh, naturals, naturals have gone to the other side, so bank, to me, this would be where I just say, uh, you know, this is too much information to digest. There's just nothing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the game complexion certainly changed. If you just look at the at the at the main road, it certainly went from kind of a time before lasty to to kind of attached multiples and and whatnot here. So so let let's see what happens here. Um, eight zero one zero one two two on the bank. Two over one. Yeah, again. So if you don't, if you if you consider the ties and don't bet after the ties, you still got just two in a row um, because the tie broke up the two in a row. So it's it's still pretty strong chop. Well, like like like, like that, you know, I know Kenan is not on there. I think he's you know conducting business right now. But what I'm saying is, look how many times after a natural it switched versus how many times it stayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when when that when that actually catches, uh, and and you get good information on that, it really uh, it really holds. So uh, it, it's kind of a a good thing to watch. And Canada is certainly an advocate for that. So um, <clears throat> okay, all right. Well, let's see if it goes opposite or repeat here. We're gonna check it out. We got a six, got a five, got a three, five. Down to two, two to five on the banker. So we got the second liner bank there, with with an attached multiple, and certainly the complexion of the main road has changed. Yeah, de definitely a shoe change here. Yeah. Now you know, of course, Kevin. Now we're at the point is there's no banker three in a rows, and it's kind of choppy. So are you betting player here, or what are your thoughts here? Well, my thoughts are, number one, the uh, OO versus TT ratio, three back. You know, maybe Mookie can show that on the – on the. Uh, um, it's it's uh, pretty strong on the OO, three back, opposite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's – yeah, right there on the app, yeah. yeah. You know, but uh, that's that's strong. Um, you know, our, our repeats on, on all the derived roads have kind of – Started to move towards chop. Yeah. Okay. Um, which would, you know, again, there's mixed signals there, so there's nothing there. So again, this is be one I wouldn't bet. I just there's too much 
mixed, you know, emotions here. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I like, I, I, I like the most common in this one myself. I like that there's never been a banker three in a row. Um, yeah, I think that's a good bet when you and I'm obviously I'm just looking at the main road, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, always, a, I always like that bet. Um, so I, I would probably bet uh, player on this one, uh, just for that reason. At least, at, at least a half on that one. Kind of a a bet I always make. So, uh, anyway, let's see what happens. Six, zero, six and Stan, zero. Yep. Six on the player. So in that case, it worked out. Six over zero. So still not a lot of strength on banker. You know, though, really not a lot of strength on player either. I mean, you know, it's still kind of choppy. And even if you consider that tie in there as a bank, you know, you're getting kind of a really choppy shoe. So, yeah, the strongest disparity is on the uh, opposite three back. Yeah. Okay. So opposite three back is telling us what this one here. Opposite this player three, again. Tell this player again. Okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Zero, zero. Seven and Stan wouldn't give that back, huh? Yep. Seven over three. Opposite three back is strongest. Who, who says play who says seven never win? Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> I take I, a seven I, on every single hand, and I'm yeah, I guarantee I'll I, win. I, I, I'd never give it back. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so are we going uh, – what are we doing here? Uh, you know, this is a no bet for me. It's – it's. Uh, I, you know, who knows, you know? You, you know, I, I'm kind of a, a, a big believer in the pattern theory, okay? Yep, and, and I think so. It occurs when it occurs, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. So the, the pattern that you're seeing there is a huge dragonfly. Yeah. Uh, which would suggest that it'd be a banker. But so I look down at the derived roads. Uh huh. And um, I don't like what I see on the derived okay. roads. You know, you, you know what I mean? They, they yeah. don't all support that that theory or that whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So in which case, again, to me, this is a no bet. Yeah. Okay. So we're agree there. If I was going to bet anything there to your point, I think we'd go with banker, but let's see what happens. Five, six and standing a lot of sixes and eight on the bank. There we go, Kevin. There you go. Yeah. Eight over six on the banker. Of course here, you'd probably have to go with the second liner, Kevin, uh, for me, uh, what are you thinking here? I, I, I I'm let me look at this all the stuff here. I'm counting it all up. And I okay, can yeah. Well again, the uh oh 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 is still the strongest. Um which would say um uh, another bank and it's yeah. the twos. It's the twos. Yep, twos, yep. Okay. So I mean just playing the main road, I think this would be a good bet on the twos. Yeah, I think it's a pretty solid bet, even though uh, a lot of the uh, Nationals have gone opposite. I think I would override it. Luki, can we switch over to V87 just real quick and see what it's saying, uh, if you don't mind? I would, And I would actually say multiples. Yeah, I, I think so. I think uh, single, you know, joint multiples goes regression to the mean. Yeah, okay. So you so like now it's Now it's time for it to be more singles. Yeah, okay. Or unjoined multiples. Okay. If it's only just one in between. Right. Okay. Well, I, 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 I would, I would still stick with the with the banker here. But okay, let's see, uh, see what we get here. Me and Kevin are on bank. Boogie likes the opposite, so we'll see. So we got a zero and a nine on bank. So nine over zero on the banker. So we got the attached, uh, another multiple. Second liner, uh, two naturals. Okay. Well, look, if you bet two in a row, you bet opposite. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of we got stuff. An awful, uh, just overall, we got an awful lot of twos yeah. that have stayed two on the bank. Yep. 
Nothing longer than two, as a matter of fact. And, and, uh, and even on the player side, right? You've got three two state three or, or state two, and uh, twice it went to more. Yeah. Yep. So, okay. You know, I, I have to say it's going to. You know, I, I, I would bet player based on that without looking at a lot of other stuff. Well, you'd be right, Kevin. Player got a nine. Nine over five. Natural nine over five on the player. You know, I want to make a comment here if I can, okay? Sure, please. Take your time here. Um, there's other people that are listening to this, watching this, whatever. I haven't said anything. I get it. No problem. Okay. What we're espousing or talking about or doing or, you know, whatever you want to call, you know, we're, we're, we're not putting real money out. You know, we're, we're just saying, I think this because of that, because of this, because of that. Right. The ideas, though, that we're using behind these decisions are solid ideas. Yeah, they are. They're solid ideas, whether it's from the app, whether it's from something that Canada Box says, whether it's from something you say, whether it's something from I say, this is experience. Okay, knowing full well that it's 50 50 and the cards don't know what happened before, right? You know, uh, they're not listening to what you know, whatever. Yeah, they don't care. But That's I think right. If I, I would look at our group think overall, I'd say we're up pretty good in this shoe. Yeah, we, 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 we pounded this shoe. I, I think Canada hit the first four too. Uh, so I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think if we look at our group think. Yeah. You know what I mean? As opposed to our individual thing. And the reason I'm saying this is I want to talk about uh, Bakrat seminars and, you know, like we're going to the Philippines, you know, for a yeah. symposium, whatever. And that is that anybody uh, um, that hasn't played the thousands of shoes, hands, whatever you want to call it that we all have, and, and, and they're trying to learn the game, you get so much more out of seeing us in person. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Me bandering or you ban you know, people yeah. seeing stuff and you know, when there's no money at stake. Because when we get together, it's real money. Yeah, it's, it's real, real money, money when we get together. You know? That's right. That's and right. I, I just want to make sure that people understand this is it's an exercise, you know, it's an exercise to see what's gonna happen or whatever. But it's like there's an incredible value in actually playing together. Yeah, there is. Just and just like this, you know, just just because we talk. It's 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 not going to work out to your benefit every single time, but if we do it enough times, I, I'm I'm 99 or 95 percent sure it's going to work out for you. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, and, Keith, for the thumbs up. So, so so that that's yeah. what behind this is. Yeah, that, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I was going to say that I'm going to break your second letters and this should go opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's okay. See, that's what I mean. Not everybody's going to have the same answer. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's just it. That's right. There's nobody that's any smarter on this forum than anybody else. You know, well, there, there's a little room for debate there. I'm. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, okay. Well, you know, present comedy excluded. Okay, how we put it that way. But <laughs> Keith, you don't say that anymore. That I'm still waiting to meet the best Bakra player in the world. <laughs> ah, I am. <laughs> We're still trying to get him in the forum. The best Bakra player in the world. So go away. But what I am saying is, is that you know the people watching this, um, you know, from afar or whether they see a video of it or whatever they do afterward, is that you know. When we're doing this with real money, yeah, believe me, serious. We're, we're we're doing it, you know, in real time, and we're we're looking at it from about nineteen different angles. Yeah, you know? no, that that's you're right, Kevin. And, and that does not mean we all are going to agree on every hand. That's right. So, no. anyways, I wanted to point that out. I believe. No, no, you. thank you so so much. As we forget yeah, to, I, to let folks know, I like yeah. to point. I like to point out too that. You know, there's usually DUI. I'm doing the GUI this time, you know, gambling oh. under the influence. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're picking them good tonight, though. Holy cow. So, yeah. Well, what, what would Jimmy Bachrock bet on this one? Oh, he'll definitely play repeats. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's see if who's got it here. 
Zero. Not looking too good. Seven. Here we go. Seven. Two. Oh, come on. There we got it. We got it. We got yeah, it. Hear me. Mookie, you got your <laughs> bet there. So, all right. Well, listen, we're about at an hour here. I'm going to deal the last hand here coming up and uh, double up and get your money back, you know. And so the last hand for tonight's practice is three to two. Stays the three. Oh. Tie hand, of course. There you go. Ended with a tie. Um, so thanks for watching. This is our practice session. So listen, guys, we'll be back next week. Uh, Kevin, we got the uh, – and Rail Rabbit, we got the International Baccarat Symposium coming up. So that'll be a trip. Uh, and uh, do, do we have the dates firm yet or no? Because uh, yeah, the Chinese said March, March 1st through 4th. March 1st through 4th. Okay, we got to put that up. Okay. I put it on the form. Oh, you did. Okay. So March 4th through 1st through the 4th, we'll be in uh, Cebu and the Philippines playing with our uh, illustrious host, uh, Rail Rabbit. And, yeah, uh, and he, he, he was kind enough to put a whole bunch of stuff there on the forum today about uh, hotel and auctions and uh, how to fly there and all the other stuff. So. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Amen. So if anybody has any questions, don't don't uh, hesitate to ask. Uh, whatever your budget or whatever it is, I can find you something. Just yeah, let me know. Okie dokie. Uh, thank you. And we'll be talking a lot more about that. If you want to join us, you know, uh, we'll be putting up more information as uh, as we get a little bit closer. But we do have the dates and say boo. So it'll be nice uh, to get everybody together again. So. All right. Uh Thanks, guys. I guess we'll talk to you in a little bit then. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, right. Keith. Thank you.